This is our first day exploring Vientiane, which is the capital of Laos. We arrived here on the high-speed train from Lampabang. That saved us about eight hours trip, really, because it would have been a terrible bus ride all the way down. But that was a brand new train, super fast, super luxurious as well. The Wan Prabang used to be the royal capital, but now it's Vientiane. And Vientiane used to be called Vieng Chan before the French changed it. I don't know why they did that. They also changed the name from Lao to Laos as well, confusing everyone. <laughs> but here we are. Added a cheeky little S. <laughs> <laughs> We've been staying at this hotel here called the Urbanite and it's really nice actually. It's one of the best that we could find for the budget and we got upgraded to an absolutely massive room with balcony. But it's a little bit out of town, I think, from looking at Google Maps anyway. But it's really, really close to the first place that we're going to go today, which is one of the main attractions here in Vientiane. And you can see it on the way into Vientiane. It's a huge monument right in the center of the main road. It looks really cool. Yeah. I think you can go up there as well, but there's no crossing. <laughs> and there's like four lanes of traffic, so... No. Are we legging it? Go. Leg it, leg it, leg it. Go, oh, go, go. <laughs> Okay, made it. This thing right here Up is... Okay, hold on. Move, move a little bit further. This <laughs> monument right here is called Patuksai. I'm probably not saying that right. Never know what to say with the X's. Anyway, so it's called Patuksai in Lao, which basically means Victory Gate or Gate of Triumph. And it is dedicated to those who fought for the independence from France. People have already been telling us on our Instagram, which by the way, if you don't follow us on Instagram, make sure to pop over there, follow us there also, because we also post loads of stories and fun content there too. Anyway, people have been telling us that you can actually go up it. It doesn't look like there's anyone really here. Yeah. Apparently it opens at eight and it's now 9.30ish. So we're here at the right time. We found the other tourists. They're all under the gate because it's super hot today. The sun is already beaming down and the shade under the gate. The roof of this place is decorated really nicely. Wow, how do we get up then? It says way up there. It's closed. Can you go up? Why? Two years. Oh, what? Closed for two years. Oh, whoa. Come on, guys, you've been lying to us. You can't go up there. It's been closed for two years. Whoever's giving this information probably was here just over two years ago. So we can't go up it today, but we can see it from below. And I think there is a really nice park just on the side here. So let's stroll this way and see what it looks like from there. Because we're too close to see it. It's always better to look at a landmark from afar than actually in it. Yeah, and I got <laughs> my glasses. Well, you know I'm going to be able to see it. <laughs> this looks really cool from here. Oh, yeah. And it is really big. Loads of people that we spoke to in Laos said that they were skipping Vientiane. But we skipped Vang Vieng and came straight to <laughs> Vientiane on the train. Been to Vang Vieng before. Well, I've been to Vang Vieng before. I just didn't want to go back there again because it's too much of a party scene there. But we came to Vientiane with the, the mind that we're going to just explore it. We're not going to stay here forever. Stay for a few days and see what it's like. But there's one other reason that we decided to come to Vientiane. Now, you may have seen in our last video, or two videos ago mm -hmm. that we had rented an electric vehicle in Lamprabang. Mikey the Macaron. Yeah. <laughs> Now, we enjoyed renting a car so much, we've decided to rent a car here in mm -hmm. Vientiane. We, we haven't got it yet, we're picking it up tomorrow. Yeah. That then we're going to drive all the way down to the 4,000 Islands, so the south of Lao. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do it over a long period of time, so maybe a week. Yeah. So we're going to be stopping along the way as well, seeing all these small towns and villages as well. So for anyone that's saying, don't rush through Lao, oh, we're definitely not rushing. We did skip a little bit on the way down here to Vientiane, but on the way down further south, we're going to be doing it just as... But anyway, shall we go and get some breakfast? Yes. <laughs> Valleys. Yeah. yeah. So we're looking for a breakfast place that is down one of these alleys. But not this one. It's here. You never know what this place is gonna look like off Google, do you? Looks like we're walking into someone's back garden. Uh, back garden, yeah. <laughs> well it says it's right here, but it's not here. No, I think that's it. You think that's it down yeah. there? Yeah. Oh, this one. It's the same place. Same place? Yeah. Come this cafe. 
So that tuk-tuk ride was 60,000 kip. Luckily, we still remember, well, luckily Dylan knows all of the numbers in Thai and they pretty much are very similar slash the same here in Laos. So anyway, the reason we haven't got a bike or anything here is there's a lot. Apparently, according to you guys and according to the internet, there's a lot of motorbike scams going around. So we decided not to get a bike this time around. With the tuk-tuk being only 60,000, the bike we had in Lamproban was 150,000. So we could literally get another tuk-tuk ride for 90,000 and still be in the green. So we'll just do tuk-tuks for now, I think, because we, we don't want to be scammed. We heard that people get their scooters rented and then an hour later they've been stolen. So I don't know if that's like an old scam or it's still going, but better not to yeah. risk it. Can we please have two Lao coffee with milk, hot, and also a sticky rice pancake with mango and fried banana. Chai. The coffees are quite similar to sort of the roadside coffees that we were getting in Thailand, which I think is just condensed milk and then some powdered milk and sweetener also in there with the coffee, which makes it like thick and sweet. Oh my god. Those look epic. This actually looks epic too. Most of the breakfasts here in Laos seem to be savory. There's a lot of meatball soups, a lot of broths going around in general, but you know us, we love sweet food. So here we have some grilled bananas with coffee. I don't actually know if you're supposed to dip them in the coffee. Probably. Or if the coffee is just like sipped on the side. And then we also have pancake, but it's like a sticky rice pancake with mango inside. I don't know if this is Lao breakfasts or if this is just something that is delicious that they don't tend to really eat here, but it looks really good. All right, let's try this bad boy. I think it's gonna be strong. Oh, not that strong. That's very good coffee. It's very, very good. So I have here some fried, deep fried bananas. Just look at that. <laughs> Listen to the crisp on this. Come a bit closer. Oh, super soft, obviously. It's a banana. Oh, dip it. I don't know if you're meant to. Let's see. It looks more like hot chocolate, that kind of coffee. Really thick. That banana is super sweet. Mmm. Nice, delicious. Very, very good. Obviously, I'm going to be putting the syrup on. Mmm. Is it good? Yeah, that's really good. Really delicious, really delicious. Really want to try the banana. Oh yeah, go for it. You guys will have to say in the comments whether we're actually meant to dip it in this coffee or whether that's like drank on the side or whether you've never seen this dish before. It looks like we're meant to do that. That's good. The banana is so sweet. Mm. Yeah, this is a good breakfast. This is delicious. And if you're in Vientiane, this place is called Kung's Cafe Lao. So come here. Yeah. Please tell me that this is classic Lao breakfast and I can find this everywhere. I'd be happy. That was a really, really nice breakfast. Perfect way to start the day. Still getting used to this cash stuff, but the cash situation here in Laos has been really sort of difficult. Our cards aren't working in the ATMs. And then when one of the cards is working, we're getting charged like 10% in exchange fees and then a transaction fee on top of that. So if you come here, make sure you either have loads of US dollars, loads of Thai baht, or just bring loads of Lao kip if you have Lao kip for any random reason. So that breakfast was only 70,000 kip, which is extremely affordable for two coffees and breakfast. Wait, three coffees because we had that tiny one. Oh yeah, I don't know if that was a dip or if that was to drink. Yeah. It was, it was tasty as a dip. But if you're gonna go there, you do have to walk down a little alley, so don't get scared and turn back. Go yeah, all the way down to the bottom. It's at the end of the alley. <laughs> Should we see if we can find another tuk-tuk? Yes. They're everywhere when you don't need them. And when you need them, they're nowhere to be found. Walk to the main road. Yeah. We don't know the going sort of rates for tuk-tuks, you know, distances and things, but we usually try to have a price in our mind before we ask the tuk-tuk driver yeah. what's reasonable. The last one was 60,000, which is about three pounds, though three and a half dollars. I think that's quite all right for what, like a 10 minute drive? It's something that we're definitely happy to pay and we're enjoying the ride. So if that's a major rip off, it's not a huge rip off in our books. And it's like, it's all part of the fun as well. And you don't have to like deal with parking and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Whoa, Wah, hello. We just stepped out of the alleyway that we were just in and came across this really colorful beautiful building we just looked it up on google it's called Wat Si Mwang so we might see if we can check it out i don't know if we're allowed in here 
so colourful. Yeah, that's what took my attention, to be honest, when we were crossing the road. I've never seen a temple this colour before, inside this temple. We're not going to go in there because there are monks in there and there are people giving offerings and praying. But there's a huge gong here. Uh, someone's consistently banging. Maybe you can hear it if you've got some good speakers, but it sounds really loud here. But the temple on the inside, it looks really golden, kind of similar to the outside. It looks really, really nice. And it smells amazing. The incense are literally filling the air. We are outside and it still smells really, really nice. Look that building and that one. There's a lot of really colorful and beautiful buildings in this area. Very nice place to come across, to be honest. Yeah, it was a very happy accident, a very lucky accident. So is she letting these little birds out? I think the girl that was trying to take the photo of the, um, the birds flying out the cage was so slow. The birds have just gone whew, and she missed them. There's a guy here cutting hair on the side of the road. I've been thinking of cutting my hair quite recently. Maybe in, I don't know, a few months I'm thinking of getting rid of this uh, long hair. What I'm, what I'm trying to say and what I'm getting to is, do you think I should cut it? And if you do, do you think I should get a fun haircut on the way to cutting it short? Because I've got long hair already. Um, leave it in the comments, what do you think? All right, let's find a tuk-tuk. I see some tuk-tuks. Show this. You want to show this? Oh, show it to the guy, okay. Yeah. Let's try for 80,000. Okay, which is? A uh, bed tip. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. How much? Well, I don't know. Bad tip? Bad tip? Oh, no, bad tip. Okay, okay. Yeah? Okay. 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 We paid way above the odds there because I said 80 okay. and he was like, okay, straight away. <laughs> but it's fine. 80,000. As we said earlier, we have 90,000 left from what we would have spent on the motorbike anyway, so. Yeah, but we still need to get back. Oh, yeah. Well, the bike would have to always also pay petrol, so. <laughs> Perfect, right to the entrance. Nice, nice. eighty thousand. That wasn't even like twice as long the distance of the other trip. So that's good value, I think. Everyone's gonna say that that, that we got totally ripped off. I know it always happens, but as long as we know that yeah, we got a good deal, right? We have fun. And we made that guy happy, so. Parked up, literally right next to it. Online, everyone gets their information from online these days, but I think it said that this place was built in the third century. Yeah. I, I was amazed by the buildings in Chiang Mai that were built in the 14th century. This is built in the third. It is actually, supposedly, also according to online, covered in real gold. I don't, is that true? The entrance here. Yes. Shall we? Yes, let's do it. For uh, a Lao national, it is 5,000 kip. For foreigners, 30,000 kip. Bit of a markup, but if you're local, you probably come here more than once, don't you? Thank you. It is extra beautiful, the fact that it's such a beautiful sunny day. Blue skies, so all you can see when you actually look at the stupa is blue skies and then this golden, reflecting, beautiful ambiance in front of yourself. I don't even know how to formulate this. <laughs> Somebody just shot off like a firework? Oh. Was it him? I think so. It was like a pew, poof, like a firework. <laughs> that's so fun, seeing the monks like lighting them and then running away laughing. <laughs> oh, that's made my day. That is so good. You can let us know what the justification of doing fireworks in a stupa is. That'd be quite interesting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're now in the town centre of Yantian, or what looks like the town centre. We're just going to look for somewhere to maybe grab a drink and maybe some nibbles as well. Mm -hmm. Quite hungry after all those yeah. uh, temples Lots and stuff. And hungry. You're going here? Yeah? yeah, this looks really lovely. Yeah. Let's do it. We're currently 
sat in a place called Kop Chai Do. Uh, I'm not sure what the Do part means because I think Kop Chai is thank you in Lao. Anyway, loads of little places scattered along this road. Very nice vibe. They're playing some music. A lot of people sat outside drinking. I've got a nice lemongrass drink. Dylan, of course, has a beer lao. You can't really come here and not have that. Some spiced peanuts, sausages that smell fantastic, that aren't for me, obviously, because I don't eat sausage. And also some chips. But not it, just any chips. Not just Salt any chips. And pepper. Yeah. And chili. Chili spiced chips. If it's not spicy, we basically don't want it. We're just gonna drink these now, do some people watching, relax. We've had a really, really nice day. Definitely don't skip Vientiane if you ever do come to Lao. Very beautiful city, probably the capital for a reason. And next time you see us, we've got a vehicle that we're gonna take down towards the south of Lao. But we'll tell you all about that in the next video.